So how y'all feeling as a melanated sister? Melanated sister. Well, apparently not too well if you are the docu-series Cleopatra. This Netflix series sits at number six in the top 10 list, but has a 1% score at Rotten Tomatoes. Article for you here at Forbes. This is by Paul Tassi, who says, this low score is a mathematical impossibility. How can you hit 1% with fans on Rotten Tomatoes? So this couldn't even make the 10% mark. And he compares this with some other shows, the lowest rated shows on Netflix, which include the remake of Resident Evil, 22%, Jupiter's Legacy, 73%, Space Force, 77%, Haters Back Off, 76%. So the lowest rated shows on Netflix did better then Cleopatra sitting at 1% over at Rotten Tomatoes. Go woke, go broke. The issue is that this historical documentary saying that Cleopatra was a black African queen is not sitting well with fans. But this is not terribly credible given that Cleopatra was of Macedonian Greek descent. country of Egypt in particular has taken offense to the show altering their history this dramatically and betraying it as something they believe is non-factual in a series that is meant to be a documentary. And going back to an earlier quote by Tina Garvey, or Garavi, who was the series creator, why shouldn't Cleopatra be a melanated sister? And why do some people need Cleopatra to be white? She was Macedonian Greek. Her proximity to whiteness seems to give her value, and for some Egyptians, it seems to really matter. Saying that Adele James, who is portraying Cleopatra here, looks more like Cleopatra did. How do you know that for sure, Tina Garabi, or Zagarbi? So she posted this over at Twitter. Thank you to those who helped us get here, including some angry folk who need to deal with the fact that melanated folk have been doing blank around here since day dot. Adam and Eve, I'm not even getting to get into that. But this has not resonated, getting back to the article here, this has not resonated with critics or audiences. The low scores are no doubt overwhelming because of the casting choice and historical alterations. But the show at its core does not seem to be good, terribly good. And it reminds me, he says here, of those really bad docudrama reenactments that you would see on the History Channel. Since I first wrote this article, the critic score has ticked down to 11%, and the user score has ticked up to 2%, with over 2,500 reviews in now. Again, this is still the lowest score I've ever seen with the most reviews counter, and the lowest by a pretty significant margin, certainly for Netflix at least, it seems, again, to Netflix's lapsed quality control where projects that probably never should have seen the light of day are instead given a spotlight. If you do want to judge it for yourself, it's only four 45-minute episodes, which admittedly is more of an investment than I wanted to make. Oh, that's low. That's low. So this is over at Forbes. The Netflix series Cleopatra has bombed big time, sitting at 1% over at Rotten Tomatoes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can also follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes, because I write music in my spare time. You know how we do it here. This is where the past crashes with the present, where we preserve great art, music, history, culture. But trying to make Cleopatra woke isn't a way to do it. Or you can also find me at Twitter, Culture Confederacy at Culture Confed 1 on Twitter. This is the Culture Confederacy saying peace out, stay safe, everybody. God bless this thing called the United States, and I'll catch you next time.